Yeah, so we just had a beautiful, beautiful march on the Golden Gate Bridge for Gaza. And uh, it was planned kind of late, so I didn't anticipate a huge crowd, but I thought it was good just to have even a few people there. Well, someone said we probably had over 100 people. And uh, it was very diverse crowd, diverse age group, diverse uh, ethnic heritage, and a lot of enthusiasm, lots of chanting, and uh, I'm just really happy with how it went. And we brought uh, Aaron Bushnell's name because I hold him as a mother and a grandmother, hold him dear to my heart, that this young man was at age in his 20s and off to be involved in, in genocide on another people. And he couldn't live with himself. And he, you know, he, he decided to do an extreme act to uh, cleanse himself of the complicity that he felt because his words were I, I am no longer complicit in genocide so I'm really glad that Art Koch has done this beautiful painting of him to, to remember him and we also brought flowers the flower massacre when the people in Gaza were very hungry coming to a aid truck just a week ago and, and uh, clamoring to get food and, and uh, the Israeli defense forces shot at them uh, some of them were killed by what the bullets, and some of them were killed by stampede because of uh, everybody running out of uh, terror. And uh, to memorialize, that's just one of so many incidences in Gaza that uh, innocent people have been killed. And so we wanted to also underline the extreme conditions that the people of Gaza are living under with very deep, deep shortages of essential needs like food and water and shelter, medicine, and I think about Gaza every day of my life, and I hope that that Gaza will be free. I hope that the bombing will stop, and the U.S. will stop sending weapons to Israel and stop being complicit, and the U.S. will bring troops home, because from Aaron Bushnell's uh, revealing, I didn't know very much, that we have, I suspected we had troops on the ground, but we have troops on the ground. So we're even more complicit than I thought we were. Right. So bring the U.S. troops home, get them out of Gaza. We shouldn't send our young men and women in uniform to commit such horrendous crimes. And abolish war, you know. Get rid of the war profiteers, because they're the ones that bribe our politicians with lots of money. And those are the ones that won't, that won't vote for a ceasefire. So right. we need to change our government, change our, our world around and abolish war.